line because we want to be knowledgeable and we need to be able to talk to the facts of what's happening. But at the same token, uh, my suggestion to you is that you don't um, become obsessed with trying to predict the future for people, but rather try and understand their situation and what it actually means for them. Because on a macro level, we know some things. We know that we've got um, record low interest rates, which are hugely positive for anyone who either has a mortgage or wants a mortgage. Uh, we know that the Reserve Bank is going to be looking at as many measures as possible. And certainly they've already flagged in a press release yesterday um, that they're considering removing entirely the loan to value restrictions, essentially those speed limits that were put in, pray, uh, in place to force higher levels of equity. So we know that from the position of financing, things are actually looking really rosy. But on the exact flip side of that, we know that um, unemployment is likely to rise. We don't know how far. And we know that certain sectors of the economy are hurting very badly right now. Um, and some of those will be almost immediately relieved as we can start to trade again, but others are going to be, well, not permanently, but for many businesses, as far as their life cycle is concerned, permanently affected by this. Uh, and so we can't actually make um, predictions about what will happen in the future, but we can talk intelligently about what we know is happening and ask our clients, well, what do you think this means for you? And I, I um, coach you to be relatively neutral in the sense that I think it's way too early to say at the moment that there's going to be price reductions uh, because ultimately the big um, driver of price is supply and demand. And I think it's fair to say that there may be some buyers who can no longer purchase, but at the same token, whenever there's uncertainty in the market like this, uh, traditionally I've seen sellers decide not to come to market. And so where the, um, demand may be slightly reduced. If the supply is also slightly reduced, then typically we don't see massive adjustments on price. So the question mark for anyone that you're talking to in the pipeline is really, what's your situation? What would prompt you to even think about moving at the moment? Listen carefully for what they've got to say and see what their questions are. If it's something that's guessing about the future, ask, well, what will the difference be for you in six months time? What do you believe? And for some people, this is going to cause them to take action sooner. And for other people, it may be in their best interest to wait. And for the longevity of your business and for the success of your clients, you don't want to be trying to push people into making decisions for you and for what you want, but rather don't talk things you can't guarantee, talk what you know and present opportunities for them. So for some people, this might be they decide to test the market right now because they actually do want to move, but they're not willing to take a hit. Well, they don't have to commit to doing that. There's a relatively low entry point to get into the market at the moment. Um, they don't necessarily need to invest in a $5,000 auction campaign. They may just need to invest in some professional photography, a great floor plan and a virtual walkthrough. And they're able to be on the market effectively right now uh, in a market where there's not a huge amount of competition in terms of new listings. So there's, there's some ideas for you anyway.